the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Cringer became the mighty battle cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. If you think that's something, wait until you see my cousin, Lady Edwina. See? What'd I tell you? Oh, wow! Uncle Randor, Auntie Marlena, how nice to see you both again. Welcome, Edwina. It's good to have you back in Eternos. I really should have visited before, but with all the parties I have to attend, I can hardly get away. You remember Adam, of course. Can this really be little Adam? Oh, just look at the way you've grown. I swear, if we weren't cousins. <laughs> Edwina, let me present Orko, our resident magician. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> and our men at arms, Duncan. And his daughter, Captain Teela. Oh, how do you do? Oh, well, I'd love to stay and chat with the help. But I'm really rather tired. The help? Why? If you'd be kind enough to show me to my room, Adam. Of course. Good day, Your Majesty. Met at arms. At Tippy. That's Tila. She may be the king's niece, but I've never met a ruler more arrogant, sweeter, and lovelier, and prettier. Oh, come on, Orko. You can't be serious. I am serious. I think she's beautiful. Lovely brooch. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I didn't bring anything uh, um, suitable to wear with it. Thanks anyway, Porco. That's Orco. Oh, Orco. Rat. Hey, take it easy, little buddy. If I wasn't a poor little nobody, I could give her a real gift. Then she'd really like me. Orko, you can't buy a friend. Not a real one, at least. Sure, just be yourself, old pal. You've got a lot going for you. Hello, everyone. You may not know it, Edwina, but you're in the presence of a hero. Huh? What hero? Oh, really? Yep. Years ago, Orko saved my life. It happened in the season of storms. Back when I was a kid, Cringer and I were out playing that day and had wandered far from the palace. Suddenly, a storm broke loose and we found ourselves lost in the tar swamps. Oh, Adam, I'm so scared. 
Oh, don't worry, Cringer. We'll be all right. But we weren't the only ones in the swamp that day. Hey, what, what, where am I? This isn't Trolla. Somehow, the storm's incredible power had opened a temporary doorway which pulled Orko out of his world and stranded him on ours. Help! Help! Uh-oh, they're in trouble. Hang on, kid. I'll save you. Oh, Magic Medallion, hear my command and give these two a helping hand. Because of his bravery, we adopted Orko and made him a member of the royal court. And that's how my little friend here became a hero. Could that charm you lost really work magic? Oh, sure. My medallion could conjure up just about anything. Oh, it's too bad you don't have it now. Hmm. Orko! Hmm, it's not like Orko to miss breakfast. I don't think he's been here all night. Look, his bed hasn't been slept in. Yesterday he was talking about the magic medallion he lost in the tar swamp. Oh, you don't think he'd really... I'm afraid so. We'd better find him before he gets there. Once I find the magic medallion, I'll wish up a great present for Edwina. I seem to remember it was right around here. <sighs> What's that? Eat my... Get over here, you furry fool. You'll soon have need of your special <laughs> talents. You have the primeval potion? Right here. With this magic brew, I can bring back any of the prehistoric monsters that perished in this swamp, and I'll use those monsters in my conquest of Palace Eternia. The palace? Oh, no. I gotta warn them. Yikes! Who's there? It's the king's fool, Orko. Leave this to me. Powers of darkness, make wings appear and fly that sprite back over here. Yay! Well, well, a little visitor. <laughs> you big bully! You'll never get away with this. Email will stop you. Oh, really? Show the little rodent what we have planned for He-Man, Evelyn. Look at what's coming now. Beastman, use your mental power to tame and command that creature. There, tame as a chicken. Good. Now to take the palace. It's a good thing Adam decided not to come. I know he means well, but his bumbling would only get in the way. Well, if he can contact He-Man for us, he'll be doing more than his share. By the power of Grey Sky.
Listen, a Wind Raider. I hear it, you oaf. Let's send our royal friends a welcoming committee. <laughs> I saw you were in trouble, I flew down to help. It's a good thing you were nearby, Stratos. I'd still like to know where those monsters came from. I don't know, but I'll bet you anything Skeletor is mixed up in this. Right, ye fool! Skeletor! Let Orko go or I'll... This troublesome trolling is the least of your worries. Look! It's a Dracodon. A hungry Dracodon, and we're taking him to lunch at the palace. Not if we stop you first. I'm sorry, He-Man, but you weren't invited. <laughs> Let's go. Here comes the other one. Catch me if you can, you flying freak! He won't be going anywhere for a while. Thanks, Stratos. Now, let's get back to the others. Stratos, could you fly Tila and Man-at-Arms back to the palace? Sure, no problem. Good. We've got to catch up with Skeletor and his monster. And they have a big head start. Edwina? Oh, Uncle Randor. Have you been down here all this time, girl? Your aunt and I have missed you. I'm sorry, Uncle, but you have such lovely things. These gaudy trinkets? Come, I'll show you some real sights. If you insist. Oh! What's happening? A Dracodon! But they've been extinct for ages. Unless you'd like my pet here to demolish the palace, you'll surrender to me immediately. My dear, in order to protect you and the kingdom, I must agree. Something. 
Well, I'm better with rabbits and silk tricks than jail cells. I don't care. I want out. Powers of magic, hear my plea. Vanish these bars and let us go free. They're gone. Hey, I did it! Uh, well, sort of. Getting out of here. Wait, where are you going? We have to help the others. You can stay with those monsters if you want, but I'm... <laughs> Stratos, Skeletor and the others are inside. We'll take care of them. Hmm, he's a tough one, Battle Cat. Ah, yeah, but so am I. Conquest of Eternia. To our conquest, you mean. Can we join the party? Ah, man at arms. Teela, get them, you fools. Just you against us, Skeletor. Fool! Did you think I'd face you myself? You have to defeat my head first! Look up there! On the monster's back! I don't see anything! It's my magic medallion. It must have stuck to the monster when he came out of the swamp. Orko, wait, come back. Come on now. Gotta get you loose. Oh, I wish you'd come out. Hey, it worked. Orko, we'll keep the monster busy while you think up a spell to send it back. You bit off more than you can chew this time. Then again, maybe you didn't. Orko, wait! Huh? Oh, Lady Edwina! Oh, Orko, I saw what you did. You can't do anything with that magic charm. Uh, yeah, but right now I have to use it to save our friends. Who cares about them? Wish us away from this awful place. I couldn't do that. Oh, think of all the gold and jewels we could have. We could be rich without a care in the world. And I'd be your very best friend. No, my friends were right. You don't like me. You only like the things this medallion can do. Oh, I wish none of this had ever happened. Oh, 
You were very brave using your magic medallion to save us. I'm sorry you had to lose your wonderful amulet, but we both thank you for what you did. Ah, it weren't nothing. But you, Lady Edwina, have behaved in a shameful manner. Until you mend your rude and selfish ways, you are no longer welcome here. Uh, Lady Edwina, I know we didn't get along, but I'd like to give you this to remember me by. Well, at least someone still appreciates me. I thought Orko learned you can't buy friends with presents. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a lesson Orko will never forget. <laughs> Today's story was about something more precious, more valuable than gold or silver. It's called friendship. Orko learned that friendship can't be bought. Giving somebody a present may get that person to act as if he or she is your friend, but don't be fooled. A real friend is someone who likes you for yourself, not your presence. So don't try to buy friendship. Just be yourself and treat others with honesty and respect. And then you'll know the friends you make will be real ones. Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. outdone yourself. The strength of the shields and weapons made from your fotanium are without equal. <laughs> Fortunately for me. Well, it's always a pleasure to make this trip here to the moon of Phantos and visit your highness. You may take your shipments of fotanium man-at-arms, as we have agreed. Now leave me. Queen Elmora, forgive me, but, well, you, you seem different. Is something wrong? Everything is fine. We shall go home now. King Randor appreciates your kindness in giving us this fine metal. With it, I'll be able to fashion it into the strongest defense for Eternia. Yes, you have outdone yourself, Elmora. <laughs> but little do they know their shipments of Botanium will now be coming to me. But they are taking with them 
is worthless metal ore. You've had your way, Skeletor. Now release my men and leave Thontos. I don't think you understand, Elmora. I'm in control here. <laughs> Take them to the dungeons and see they are made uncomfortable. <laughs> How dare you! You'll have to do better than that, Elmora. People of Thantos will not bow to your evil skeleton. <laughs> You will do my bidding. As you wish, Skeletor. <laughs> I don't know what's so great about that potanium stuff. Everything they made from it keeps breaking. Are you sure these weapons are made out of potanium? I'm positive. I made them myself from the ore we brought back from Phantos. Okay, let's try it again. I think I'll go clean up my room. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll help you. I can't understand it. This sure isn't the same fultanium metal we tested on Phantos. Would Elmora try to cheat us? Well, she did act kind of strange when we were there. The Falcon. We must go to Grayskull. I have something to talk to Adam about. Would you excuse us, please? <laughs> of course, Father. I'll get some help and clean up this mess. Let's go. Queen Elmora and Skeletor have joined together. But Queen Elmora has always been a friend. She is no longer a friend, though it is against her will. How could that happen? Skeletor has cast a spell over her, and now controls her and her planet Phantos. We've got to help her. By the power of Grayskull. Demon. Demon. Elmora, she will not see you as He-Man. Skeletor will see to that. No, her spirit remains true. I will heed your warning. Come, my friends, we must return to Phantos. Tila, we are leaving for Phantos. You will remain with the palace guard. But can't I go? Let Prince Adam be in charge of the guard. If we can find Adam, please. No, there's no time to discuss it. We're meeting He-Man and we're already late. I must go. To the space portals.
leave Vantos. You are enemies of the realm. I don't know who you are, but this is Elmora's realm, and we have come to help her. I am Elmora, and I have no need of your help. Leave while I still let you. You, Elmora? This is Skeletor's doing. <laughs> Now my prisoner, give up your folly, He-Man. You can't defeat me. We're here to protect you, Elmora. <laughs> Skeletor has given me all the protection I need. <laughs> Elmora, your magic is evil now, but we will help you. We will free you and Phantos in spite of Skeletor's wickedness. Could use a little help. Tila, you've disobeyed my orders. But, Father. You shouldn't have disobeyed, Tila, but thank you. We'll discuss this later. Now, Battle Cat and Stratos are Elmora's prisoners. We've got to find a way to break Skeletor's spell. That's where the metal is refined, and Elmora's castle is just above. I know a way into Elmora's castle, through the refinery. Well, let's go. Not so fast, Tila. We have to disguise ourselves first. Come on, this way. Look at that. The slave drivers push the workers around with a force field. Uh, I'll put a stop to that. Patience, E-Man, all in good time. There's Merman, one of Skeletor's crowd. Or we'll seal you in photanium body cells like those four. Just too many of them to fight. And besides, I knew you'd want to hear the good news. I got He-Man. Good work! How did you do it? I locked him into a photanium body cell. <laughs> He'll never get out. <laughs> See for yourself. I tried freezing it, heating it, chipping away at it. Nothing worked. I've exhausted all my tricks, too. Potanium is the strongest metal in the universe. Good, good. <laughs> the others will be no trouble to us with He-Man out of the way. Well, we better think of something fast. They know we're here now. I guess the only thing to do is carry He-Man back to Eternia. <laughs> 
Now, here's the plan. <laughs> he should have known. Nothing is stronger than He-Man. What's next? While you and Lizard Man try to find Battle Cat and Stratos, Tila and I will make our way to Elmora's chambers. Remember, this is the castle of a demon under the spell of Skeletor. So beware. So they think they can free Elmora from my will. <laughs> With He Man out of the way, she's mine. Aren't you, my beauty? Never, Skeletor. My spell over Elmora seems to be weakening. No matter. I'm already in control of Phantos. Concentrate, Elmora. Find the answer. My realm will be short-lived. I'll show you whose realm this is. Stronger, Merman, take her. <coughs> <laughs> enshrined in your own Potanium body cell. Don't be so sure. <laughs> You'll have to deal with He-Man after all. <laughs> no, you'll have to, my beauty. Your hatred of me will work in my favor. Every time you look at He-Man, you will see my face. And you will think, it is me. <laughs> Come, you fools. They said you were tough, but you're nothing but a big pussy cat. <laughs> I think we found them. You take the one on the right, I'll take the one on the left. No problem. I hate to leave you guys up in the air like that, but we've really got to go. Oh, I can't wait for her to see He-Man and see what happens when she thinks he is you. <laughs> she hates me so much she'll tear him apart, and he probably won't even raise up against her. Stay behind me. We no longer know what to expect from Elmora. She's still under Skeletor's power. We're here as friends, Elmora. I've been waiting for you to return. Skeletor, I hate you more with every breath I take. Elmora, I don't know what power Skeletor has over you, but I am He-Man, your friend, not your enemy. I'm not blind. I see you, and you are Skeletor. I must stop you any way I can. <laughs> Skeletor's got you under his power, too. Then I'll fight you both. I would never be Skeletor's ally. Can't you see? This is He-Man. I see only Skeletor. Listen, Elmora. You are a queen of magic. 
And in magic, you know that what you see is what the magician wants you to see. Come on, we'll take care of them ourselves. Elmora, your spirit is stronger than Skeletor's spell. What evil is this? Two Skeletors? There is only one Skeletor, Elmora. And he is the one. And together, we'll rid ourselves of him. Elmora, don't be fooled by Skeletor's spell. Enough! I'll get you both! Remove your spell on Elmora. What? Spoil all my fun? Now for a little more fun. There is your enemy, Elmora. What can I do? Which is He-Man? Remember your spin magic, Elmora. My spin magic. Yes! Now I remember! <laughs> Only He-Man can break out of my Votanium chains! He-Man! 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 You're the real Skeletor! Release Queen Elmora from your spell or you'll remain in these chains forever! Man, I can see you. <laughs> there will be another day, E-Man. E-Man. Phantos is once again under the reign of our good friend, Queen Elmora. Long live the alliance between Eternia and Phantos. Thank you, He-Man, for helping rid Phantos from the evil grip of Skeletor and Tila. Thank you for making me see the true power of magic. Peel all those potatoes. Let's hope this will teach the captain of the guard that when an order is given, the order should be followed. Queen Elmora was glad I was there. I don't think I deserve to be punished for it. Well, if it's any consolation, Tila, you're not being punished alone. I mean, we're all being punished for your disobeying your father. I've, uh, tasted your potatoes before. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you for just a moment about safety. When we go to the beach, there are lifeguards there to watch out for our safety. Crossing guards are in the street for the same reason, to help protect us. Now, things like that are fine, but we can't count on someone always being around to protect us. We should practice thinking of safety all the time. So, don't take a chance. And that's true whether you're crossing a street or driving a car. Think safety. He's supposed 
of art like my famous spice bread takes time, Cringer. Oh, I'd rather spend my time eating than cooking. Adam! Adam! Adam, what's wrong? Shh! The sorceress is speaking to me by telepathy. You must come to Castle Graceful immediately. It's very important. Mm -hmm. I'll be there right away. Well, if it's a gate, where does it go to? That I cannot say. This door has never opened before. And you want me to pass through it and find someone in the world it leads to? I would go myself. But as you know, I have no power outside this castle. But you can't tell me who this person is, huh? Hold out your hand. This sword shall lead you to the one you seek. Why, except for this jewel, this sword looks exactly like mine. And like yours. It is meant for someone with a very special destiny. But how... Adam, please, ask no questions. Until you find this one, I can say nothing. The very fate of the universe may depend on your success. Well, ready for an adventure, Cringe? An adventure? I haven't even had lunch yet. Enter the gate now, Prince Adam. And good luck to you. Well, here we are, Cringe. Hey, nice place, huh? It'd be nicer if there was some food around. I'm starving. Hey, there's a village over there. Let's head for it. The Laughing Swan Inn. Yeah, sounds like a happy place. It smells like one, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, hello? 
Do you think he's a spy for the Horde, Cowell? <laughs> it seems quite unlikely, though. The only time a Hordesman ever smiles is when he's doing something awful to someone. <laughs> Welcome to the Laughing Swan, stranger. How may we serve you today? Uh, how about a little chow? Uh, your, uh, your animal, he, uh, he speaks. Well, doesn't everybody? Now, about that food. M m make mine fish, and plenty of it. Oh, fish, um, fish it is. Thank you. Mm, I think I'm going to like it here, Adam. Horseman. <laughs> now, Bob, <laughs> let's not be rash. We don't want any trouble. I don't like that song. My, my harp! You, you miserable wretch! What did you call me? Teach the music maker a lesson, Mark. Please, sir, I, I, I meant the disrespect. I, uh... Do you know what I'm going to do with you, music maker? You could try apologizing. Hmm, a man of courage. <laughs> Stupid. Stupidity, you mean. You have a loose tongue, citizen. But you won't talk so loud when you're chained to the oar of a slave ship. <laughs> hey, good thing Tila taught me that move. You, you're under arrest. You're not making a slave out of anyone today, Hordesman. So, another troublemaker. Let's get them both. I knew this would happen. Ooh, Adam's in trouble again. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Surrender, citizen. <laughs> I'm not a citizen. I am a rebel. Thanks. My pleasure. Now you're going to get it. I'd say it's time to uh, pull the rug out from under them. One. Two, three. My name's Adam. Mine's Bo. Good to meet you, Adam. I don't mean to be an alarmist, Bo, but when the Horde finds out about this, oh, they're sure to send a force squad after us. Ugh. You're right. You better come with us, Adam. They'll be after you, too. Where are we going? Whispering Woods, of course. From now on, my friend, you are part of the Great Rebellion. I bring you bad news from the kingdom of Bright Moon. Speak! Three of our troopers were humiliated in the village of Thamor by two men who claimed to be rebels. <sighs> we have a more pressing concern, Hordak. What do you mean, Shadow Weaver? Well, my dark magics have told me that a stranger from another world has come to Etheria. And he brings with him the seed of great trouble for the Horde. Where is this stranger? He was in the kingdom of Bright Moon. But 
my spells can no longer find him. Why, no. Horak, could he have been responsible for the defeat of our trooper? Hmm. You may be right, Katra. Send Force Captain Adora to me at once. I have a plan which will bring this stranger into the open. And then we will teach him it's not nice to cause trouble for the evil horde. <laughs> We should be there any minute now. Oh, thank goodness. I'm pooped. Oh, in the name of the great Italian. <coughs> Where'd you go? Sprag, you ninny. It's us. <laughs> uh, oh, Cowl, sorry. I thought you might be horsemen. Who is that? That's Sprag. He's a twigget. They live in the Whispering Woods. Sprag. Run ahead and tell Glimmer we're bringing in some new recruits. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I scared you, Pussycat. Pussycat? <laughs> this is it, Adam. The main camp of the Great Rebellion. It doesn't look so great to me. <laughs> Most perceptive of you, friend Cringer. It is, in fact, a very small rebellion at present. Come on, Adam. I want you to meet our leader. Glimmer, I'm back. Bo, where have you been? I... Oh. Glimmer, this is Adam. Pleased to meet you. Adam helped me teach some horde troopers a lesson in Thamor. Madam's coming! Madam's coming! Madam, come on! Uh, over! No, no! Under! Under! No! Around! Over! Oh, dearie my. Oh, we must work on these landings. I agree. Madam Rouse, are you all right? Oh, dearie, my, yes. But there was something important I had to tell you. Now, what was that again? The village of Thamor, the Horde. <gasps> That's it. The Horde has placed the entire village of Thamor under arrest. But why? Three of their troopers were trounced by two men they claimed are rebels. Oops. Taught some hordesmen a lesson, huh? See what you've done? The Horde demands the culprits give themselves up. Otherwise, they'll send the whole village to the mines as slaves. They do it, too. Those fiends. Well, I can't ask you to sacrifice yourself, Adam. But maybe they'll be happy with just me. Well, hold on. There must be a way to save the village without giving in. Oh, the Horde has a force captain and four of their worst villains in the village. Oh, I'm afraid we're no match for them, no. I have a friend who might be of some help. Well, if we're really going to be the Great Rebellion, I guess we have to start somewhere. Hey, where we do, Glimmer? We're not afraid of the Horde. All right, then. Let's save Thamor. It's a Horde slave transport. But they're loading the villagers into it. Hmm, this is just a waste of time. Those rebels will never give themselves up. Hmm, we should destroy the village. At least then we'd have some fun. She'd never let us do it. <laughs> Who cares about her? She wouldn't even be leading us. Why, if she wasn't for that favorite. What was that, Leech? <laughs> Nothing, Force Captain. <laughs> you four better be on your guard. These rebels seem bolder than most. Don't worry about us. Oh, we're ready for anything. <laughs> 
everyone's ready, Bo. Time to give a signal. I hope the spell Madam put on this arrow works. Oh, what's that? For oh, Bright Moon! On, Glimmer, I'm coming. Let her go, sucker face. <laughs> Not until I train enough energy <laughs> to make her helpless. <laughs> You're finished now, Rubble. By the power of Grey Skull. You haven't won yet. I suggest you let my friends go. Oh, who's that? Another rebel, no doubt. But my shuffle rifle will stop him. <laughs> Catra! Scorpio! <laughs> Stop your muscle man! That's not very ladylike. <laughs> of course, you're not much of a lady anyway. Destroying my sense of balance. I can't stand. Ha! My balance distorter ray has fixed him. Take this, Tug Face! <laughs> you take care of the force, Captain Big Guy. That's a deal. Stand where you are, Rebel. <gasps> no! Stay away from me. The fight is over, young lady. What? Why, you. You're the one I came to find. Is that so? <laughs> You're mine now, stranger. You and this... Curious sword. Ravel, dazzle, dizzle, dazzle, mazzle, fazzle, bizzle, buzzle. I hope Adam's spell can find E Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope she remembers it right. It's, it's, it's very old magic. And Madam's a very old magician. 
Wazzle wazzle, whizzle wee, show us where our friends will be. It's working! <gasps> How dare am I? It's Beast Island. Beast Island? Why would the Horde take captives to that terrible place? I've heard rumors that they have a prison there. If that's where He-Man is, let's go! Save your strength, stranger. That force field is programmed to resist even your power. You? I'm Adora. Force Captain Adora. And your name? My name is He-Man. This sword you carried intrigues me, He-Man. It feels as if it were made just for me. I thought it was. And now you don't. I was to give that sword to someone who served the forces of good. But you, you serve the forces of evil. Evil? You're the one who serves evil, Rebel. I serve the rightful rulers of Etheria. You can't believe that. Haven't you seen how the Horde treats people? Well, I've spent most of my life training in the Fright Zone. There's been little time to see the rest of Etheria. Then why don't you do it now? Or are you afraid of learning the truth about the Horde? I'm afraid of nothing. Then you'll go? I'll think about it. There it is! Beast Island! I'll tell Madam to get set for a landing. Oh! A lovely way to travel. Don't you think, Bruce? Uh, it beats flying here myself. Beast Island's just ahead. You'd better... Uh-oh. We've got trouble. It seems as if someone else is heading for Beast Island. Uh -huh. It's coming right at us. We're going to crash. Somebody do something. <laughs> so much for them. Now for our mysterious stranger. Are you all right? How do you too much power? Weak. We'll rest. I'm afraid we can't. The Horde might send men here. Better to leave this area immediately. <laughs> Put her on my back. I'll carry her. Oh, thank you, Battle Cat. Save your strength. We'll need it to rescue He-Man. <laughs> I am proud of you, child. You have served the Horde well by capturing this stranger. He calls himself He-Man. I'm proud of you too, Adora. Thank you, Mighty One. May I return to the Fright Zone now? There's something I have to do. Of course. Go! I sense some disturbance in her. I think she should be watched. She is loyal. My training and your spells of control guarantee that. I wonder. Oh, keep your guard up, everyone. This isn't called be silent for nothing. Oh, 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 no, no need to panic, madam. So far, we haven't seen a single... What was that? Mm, nothing, uh, nothing I'd care to have tea with, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, dearie boy.
Those vines won't hold it long. We need one of your spells, madam. Uh, dazzle, dazzle, doozle, drear. Horrid vines disappear. Horrid monster disappear, not horrid vines. Oh. Uh, uh, might I suggest we we'll, we'll run for our lives? <laughs> Was too close. Thanks, Battle Cat. Uh, Bo, uh, are you all right? Why, Cowl, I do believe you were worried about me. M me? Uh, worried? Uh, surely you just. Uh... Oh, state your business. Force Captain Adora on a secret mission for Hordak. Open the gate, Trooper. Well, Spirit, now we'll prove to ourselves that He-Man was lying, huh? <laughs> Hello, boys. That light can't see. Have a nice nap, fellas. All clear. Let's go. Yeah. Move along, slaves! On your feet, now! Uh, water. Uh, 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 water, please. I must have water. You want water, do you? All right. I'll give you water. Uh, uh, help! Help me! <coughs> Enjoying your water, old man? <laughs> well, looks like there's only one way to go. Come on. <laughs> Let's see how those rebel fools handle this. were too high, and the trooper overheard him. Now they're going to destroy his home. Not another door. I feel like we've opened every door in this whole place. Well, let's try one more. He-Man has to be here somewhere. Paralyzed for a time. 
better to ask what I will do to them if you do not tell me why you have come to Etheria. Shall I have the rebel dogs taken to a cell, mighty one? Yes, an uncomfortable one. As for you, He-Man, we will give you some time to consider what price your friends will pay for your silence. Come, Shadow Weaver. <laughs> Might, might I be of some assistance? Can you get me loose? Oh, certainly, if you give me a moment. And let's see. Hmm. Oh, that will do. Perhaps this. Oh, maybe that. Oh, no, I think. Oh, yes, this, this, this. You've done it. Now let's go find our friends. I've had enough of this place. Oh, I find it rather unpleasant myself. Some rescue. All we did was wind up captured ourselves. What? Time to go, folks. He-Man! <coughs> the alarm, let's move! <coughs> He-Man and the Rebels, they're free! What? We'll recapture them at once! All troopers to Corridor 9! Rebels escaping! Which way? We have to get to a flyer. It's our only way to get off the island. I believe the Horde's landing pad is to our right. Right it is. Uh-oh, company. There they are! Better clear the way. Let's go. You know, for the first time, I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> this looks like it. He-Man, look. Hey, man, come on! Take off and wait for me outside. I have one more little job to do. Don't be long. Grizzlaw has failed. Oh, this He-Man is too powerful. But my magic will deal with him. No, it's better that we return to the Fright Zone for now. We'll have another chance, I'm sure. As you wish. What's he trying to do? I think he's about to cost the Horde <laughs> one prison. <laughs> well, that's one prison the Horde will have to do without. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, you're incredible. All in a day's work. Now let's get back to Whispering Woods. There's a certain someone I have to find. Right. This He-Man is too dangerous to us. We must find out why he is here, and how we can stop him. Perhaps. Adora, where have you been? I've been seeing for myself how we rule Etheria. What have you discovered? You lied to me, both of you. The Horde is evil, cruel, unjust. The people hate us, and with good cause. Somehow the spell on her has weakened, and I sense that it has something to do with that sword she holds. Then you must strengthen the spell. I don't know why I've never seen this before, but now that I have... Now, let me help you, child. Stay away! Surely you were not 
call me Adora. Am I not like a mother to you? I, I... Well, you will see things clearer after some sleep. First this He-Man arrives, and now Adora turns against me. Well, remember who she really is? Yes, yes. But have no fear. When she awakes, she will be under my spell once more. And I will make sure she never breaks it again. As for this sword, I will soon discover its secrets. And those of he men as well. <laughs> But Adam, mission or no mission, it's foolish for you to go to the Fright Zone. Oh, you'll be captured. Stay with us in the safety of Whispering Woods. Well, even the Whispering Woods are not safe from the Horde. I have to get going. Cringer, you stay here. You're too noticeable. Sorry. Oh, that's okay, Adam. You are a brave man, Adam. I salute you. Good fortune speed you on your mission. Yeah, uh, well, thanks. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. weapon in the Horde arsenal. Behold, the Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> what does it do? Watch. See that battle wagon? It was wrecked during the last battle with the Rebellion. It is of no use to me, so... <laughs> Look on the view screen. Oh, you sent it to the Valley of the Lost? Oh, exactly. No one has ever returned from the Valley of the Lost. And with this magna beam, I shall at last rid myself of those pests who call themselves rebels. Till now, they have hidden from me in the Whispering Woods. But those woods shall protect them no longer. Once the Magna Beam is at full power, I will transport the entire Whispering Woods to the Valley of the Lost. And all the rebels with it! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Shall we do it now? Not yet. The ray must be at full charge, and that will take some time. Here in the plunder room is the energy source for the magna ray. The ray uses the energy of willpower. This rebel was caught trying to stop a horde trooper from arresting his brother. And I do it again, you evil tyrant. The people of Etheria will not bow to rule by force. Not now, not ever. As you can see, he has great strength of will. Foolishly misguided, he will do nicely. Beware, Hordak. One day, we shall drive you and your criminal crew away from this planet, and Etheria will be free again. I feel so 
week. What is happening to me? Ah! He had less power than I'd hoped. Charging the Magna Beam will take a long time with such weak material. We must capture more rebels! Yeah, it doesn't look like an easy place to sneak into. I don't look much like a member of the Horde. But maybe I can change that. By the power of Greyskull! Catch up with your friends before they get inside the fright zone. Blast! That was the last prisoner in the dungeons. We need more power! Gods, take him away and find me another rebel. I must have more prisoners! The patrol should be returning any moment, Ordak. Perhaps they have captured more rebels for you. Perhaps. Are they in sight yet? Oh, let me check. Yes! Here they come now. But I see no prisoners. The incompetent fools! They failed to capture more rebels, and now they have lost one of their own men! No. Here he comes now. He must have been dragging. Wait. That man is no trooper. It's that rebel warrior again. Well, he shall not escape this time. I'll have him stopped once and for all. Wait. Let us not be so hasty. This warrior is a source of great power. If we capture him, he will supply the Magna Beam with all the energy it needs. And with the Magna Beam charged... I'll send the rebels to a place where they'll never bother me again! <laughs> The rebel is inside the Fright Zone now, Hordak. Alert my personal guard. I will capture him myself. He will not escape me this time. Hello, Adora. <gasps> How did you get in here? You don't need that. Please, just listen to me for a moment. What do you want? Adora, do you remember the last time we talked? Yes. I asked you to go to the villages and see for yourself what the Horde is really like. Yes, I remember. Did you do it? Did you go out and learn for yourself that the Horde is evil? Yes. So, now you know, right? Yes, I know. I know that you are a lying rebel spy and that you are under arrest. Good work, Force Captain. This particular rebel has a habit of causing trouble for me. That's one habit I mean to keep, Hordak. I don't think so, Rebel. Guards! Force Captain Adora, stop the rebel. Excellent force, Captain. Guards, take this rebel to the plunder room and put him in the Magna Beam charger. His energy should be all I need to charge the Magna Beam to full capacity. <laughs> the, the charger? No, please, you, you can't. Do you have an objection, force, Captain? No objections, my liege. To the plunder room with the rebel. A 
amazing. His power is incredible. I must be careful not to drain his energy too fast or the machine will overload. This could take all night. Problems, Weaver? There's something strange about these swords. They are not of this world. Oh, they have a strange power that I cannot control. I will have to consult my books. There is no hurry. By morning, I will have completely drained the Rebel's energy for my Magna Beam Transporter. <laughs> Let us go now, Weaver. Tomorrow, the dawning of the new day shall herald the final end of the rebellion. <laughs> no, no. It's evil. No. Strange is happening. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. Well, everything seems to be in order here. The strong rebel grows weaker. Soon he will be just another slave. But it is for the good of the Horde. It must be done. Yet, why do I feel so unsure? I don't know why I came down here anyway. I must have been dreaming. There's nothing here for... Adora. Adora, the time has come for you to seek your destiny. You must throw off the enchantments that have made you a slave to the Horde's will. Let your heart guide you toward the path that you know to be right. And let this sword give you the strength to follow that path. Use that strength to protect the weak and to help right the wrongs committed by the Horde. And let your first duty be to this man about to be enslaved by the Horde. A rebel warrior? He is no ordinary rebel, Adora. He is He-Man, hero and champion on the side of goodness. But to you, Adora, he is also something more. Adora, the Horde stole you from your parents when you were a tiny baby. So you never knew your mother, and you never knew your father. But you also had a twin brother. <gasps> this man is your brother, Adora. And Adora, he needs your help. For the honor of Grayskull, Adora. For the honor of Grayskull? For the honor of Grayskull. Can I do anything? The guards will be here any second. Who are you? A friend who wants to help you. The sword of power. My sword. Of course. The sword of power. What is going on here? He-Man, catch! By the power... Hurry, He-Man. This door won't last much longer. 
Grayskull. Aha! There's no need to fight. Let's just get out of here. Wait, there's something you don't know. Ah, the Magna Beam! It is fully charged! I don't know who you are, but your rescue is too late. Guards! Take these rebels at your leisure. I shall go upstairs to activate the Magna Beam. Magna Beam? What's a Magna Beam? Don't ask. We have to stop him. I'll take care of that. You go warn the rebellion. Right. Good luck. I am swift wind now, dear friend. You guys are going to have to do better than that. So am I. This is taking too long. Hordak said he was going upstairs. Maybe I can take a shortcut. Pretty good, Rebel. But not good enough. I'm activating the Magna Beam. This will take care of whispering wood. <laughs> oh, no. Hordak has turned on the Magna Beam. I've got to do something. Wait, that big rock just might do it. Down, Swift Wind! Now! <sighs> no! My Magna Beam wasted on a rock! Well, I still have enough power for a second shot. Sorry. What happened? Where are we? Huh? I don't know what happened, but my energy is returning, and I know exactly where we're going. Back to the rebellion, men. Well, Rebel, you smashed my magna beam and saved your worthless friends. So I did. Pretty good, huh? Not good enough, Rebel. I still have you. I'm going to freeze you solid with freeze rays and drop you into the Valley of the Lost myself. Well, oh, he's getting away. Poor Hordak. <laughs> he's had a pretty frustrating day. Thanks for the rescue. By the way, you were just in time. Well, what are sisters for, anyway? Sister? What do you mean? He-Man, I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't understand this. You say you're my sister, but I never had a sister. I know how you feel. I never dreamed I had a brother. But when the woman in the sword told me so, I just knew it was true. Woman in the sword? That must have been the sorceress. Let me have your sword. Sorceress, can you hear me? Greetings, He-Man. And to you too, She-Ra. I see you have completed your task, He-Man. Yes, but there's still so much we don't know. Then listen, and I shall tell you all. Many years ago, twins were born to Randor, King of Eternia, and his queen, Marlena. Those babies were you, Adam, and Adora. My parents. My real parents. To have two such fine children brought great joy to the king and queen. But that joy was soon to turn to sorrow. And the cause of that sorrow was a force from another dimension. A force known as the Horde. The Horde? On Eternia? Led by a vicious tyrant called Hordak. 
The Horde attempted to conquer Returnia, but they were no match for your father's brave soldiers and the magic of Castle Grayskull. So Hordak hatched a vile plot. He knew you were both destined for something special, though he did not know exactly what. So he crept into the palace, determined to steal you both away. With him went his favorite pupil, Skeletor. So Skeletor was originally a member of the Horde. Hordak had just lifted Adora from a cradle and was about to take Adam too when Man at Arms entered the nursery. <laughs> to stop him, but Hordak escaped with Adora. To save himself, Skeletor betrayed his teacher and told us the way to the Horde's secret base. Man-at-Arms and I went there, hoping to rescue Adora, but we were too late. You may have defeated us, but you'll never see this child again! <laughs> We searched for you for many years, Adora, but we could not find the dimension to which Hordak had escaped. To spare Adam the pain of your loss, I cast a spell that wiped all memory of you and the Horde from the people. Only the King and Queen, Man-at-Arms and I, knew the secret. And now? Now you have gained the Sword of Protection and become She-Ra, as you were always meant to do. The rest is up to you. You do want to see our mother and father, don't you? More than anything. But I can't just leave Etheria. The Rebellion needs me. You need not decide right now. When you wish to return, simply contact me again through the sword. Farewell, dear child of Eternia. My whole life has changed because of this sword. I know. And you should give yourself some time to think things over. But there is something you can do right now. What's that? Give your brother a big hug. Don't be a fool, Glimmer. You're the fool if you think you can stop me, Bo. Hey, what's going on here? Adam, you're back. And he's captured Force Captain Adora. Good work, Adam. With her in our hands, we can make a deal with Hordak. Sorry to disappoint you, but, uh... Adam! Don't oh, cut it out, Cringer. I take it this is a friend of yours, brother. B br brother Brother? That's right. Adora's my sister. She was only serving the Horde because of one of Shadow Weaver's evil spells. But I've broken it. And from now on, I'm with the Rebellion. Oh, welcome to the right side, dearie. You can be a big help to us. I'll do anything I can. <laughs> uh, perhaps you can start by convincing Glimmer how foolish it would be to try and rescue Queen Angela from Talon Mountain. Who's Queen Angela? Glimmer's mother. She was the ruler of Bright Moon, the last kingdom to fall to the Horde. She disappeared during the battle. <laughs> but one of our spies just learned that she's a slave to Hunger, the leader of the harpies of Talon Mountain. <laughs> she's my mother. I can't let her remain a slave of that monster, Hunger. Of course you can't. And we will rescue her. Huh? <laughs> but I think you should let Adam and me handle it. Right, brother? Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> Seems deserted. Let's take a closer look. Down swift wind. 
Hunger's throne room should be right behind these doors. Then let's go and say hello. Look, that must be Queen Angela. Come on. Queen Angela, we are here to free you. Her magic packs quite a punch. Well, let's show her our kind of punch, sis. How have you now? Shall we wipe that smile off her face? Sounds like fun to me. A beautiful sight. Let's cross swords. All right, Harpy. Where's the real Angela? Hold on, Your Majesty. I'll have you free in a minute. Thank you, mighty warrior. The name's He-Man. Can you remove this collar from my neck, He-Man? That shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> there. It was that collar which prevented me from using my magic. But now that it is gone... She's magnificent. And now I think we should go. There's a certain young woman named Glimmer who's very anxious to see you. Glimmer! My daughter! Just follow us. It's beautiful, isn't it? A mother and daughter together. Now, what's on your mind, sis? I was thinking. With Queen Angela back, the Rebellion will have a much better chance against the Horde. And it might be all right for you to take a little trip back to Eternia with me. Mm. When would you like to leave? Would immediately be too soon. <laughs> Mother and father don't know you're He-Man? No, and you mustn't tell them you're She-Ra, either. Okay, Adam, if you say so. When do we reach the gate? Just over that rise. That's where we'll contact the sorceress and make our way home. So, Adora rides with the rebels now, does she? So much for your great spells. Oh, it was that cursed sword He-Man gave her. Oh, if only I could have learned it secret before that warrior woman showed up and stole it. I'll get her, too. But right now, it's Adora I want. Ready? Adam, do you think Mother and Father will like me? Oh, Adora, they'll love you. Now, let's go. Wait for me, Adam. There she is. What, what's she doing? It's a dimensional gate. She's leaving this world. No, no. I, I won't let her escape me. Take the controls. Welcome 
back to Eternia, Princess. Princess? Sure. You're the daughter of a king and queen, remember? Well, it's going to take me a while to get used to that. control my rocket form better. Oh, where could I be? Castle Grayskull. By Horde World. I'm back on Eternia. Well, Adam, we, we've done as you asked. Now, where is this surprise of yours? Must we wait all day? All right, you can open your eyes now. Who's that? By the ancients. It's about to... <gasps> Adora. Mother. Father. My daughter. Oh, my dear, sweet daughter. Daughter? Uh, I don't understand. Well, she's Adora, Adam's twin sister, and she's back after all this time. Oh, look at you. How lovely you are. Oh, Mother. I'm so glad Adam brought me here. Son... I want you to know that today, you've made me the happiest man on all Eternia. The royal family of Eternia is whole once more. And by the ancients, I swear that nothing shall ever separate us again. <laughs> hmm. It's changed since last I was here. Could it be that my old pupil is still here? Ah, my old throne room. My throne room now, old friend. Skeletor, how good to see you again. What brings you to Eternia after all this time? I came after a traitor to the Horde. And it looks like I found one. Hmm. You've improved since last we saw each other, my pupil. More than enough to deal with you, my old teacher. <laughs> I've done it! I've sent him back to his dimension! I've done... Did you think to defeat your old mentor so easily, Skeletor? We're not through yet! Wait! It's stupid for us to fight like this! You left me alone in the hands of our enemies! And you betrayed me to those same enemies. I'd say we're even. Hmm, perhaps you're right. But Eternia is mine to conquer now. I won't let the Horde have it. The Horde has no interest in this world anymore. I'm only here to capture the traitor I told you about. This traitor? Who is he? It isn't a he, it's a she. It is the baby I took from Randor, Princess Adora. What? Enough. Now, for the last time, help me capture Adora in return to the world I came from, and I'll leave you in peace. Otherwise... Ah, your threats don't scare me. But I'll help you, if only to be rid of you. I thought you'd see it my way. You know, Skeletor, your evil is almost a match for my own. Together we'll make life miserable for those Eternian fools. Why, it'll be just like the old days. <laughs> yes, yes, just like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. 
Rogers. Nice work, Cobra. My sleep gas will keep them unconscious for hours. Move aside, you clod! Now for the little magic! <laughs> Excellent! Our little trap is set. Let's bring it on them. And then Duncan and I lifted your mother out of her ship. Enter. Uh, forgive me, Your Majesty, but I thought you might like a special dessert for this special occasion. Why, it's magnificent, Chef Allen. But don't you think it's a bit much for four people? I, I think it's just right. Mm. Oh, but this is a very special type of cake, Your Majesty, as you're about to see. <laughs> Greetings, princess. Who is that? Skeletor. Help! Somebody help! Last, that cat will raise the entire palace guard. I've got what I came for. Let's get out of here. Triclops, we're ready to go. Be right there, Skeletor. <laughs> But you can tell the king he'll be hearing from me soon. <laughs> that villain will never catch him now. <laughs> Assemble my soldiers. We'll level Snake Mountain if need be. Sire, I know how you feel, but... A small group has a better chance of getting Adora back than a whole army. My father's right, Your Majesty. Who knows what Skeletor will do to Adora if he sees all your soldiers coming? Listen to them, King Randor. He-Man! I had a funny feeling he might show up. Oh, He-Man, they've taken my little girl from me again. Please get her back. I will, Queen Marlena. That I promise you. There's a Wind Raider fueled and ready to go. Then let's move. It's ready, Hordak. You're sure this will send me back to Etheria? I'm certain of it. Of course, if you'd rather remain here... Never. I hate this place. You two, bring the girl here. No! No! Well, what are you waiting for? I'm afraid the plan has been changed, old friend. <laughs> I have better use for the Princess of Eternia than you. What? Now, get him! No! Skeletor! You traitor! <laughs> that takes care of him. And now, Princess. I must decide what to do with you. Oh. <laughs> she's... she's fainted? Ah, just like a woman. Take her to the dungeons, Furface. I'll contact Randor and tell him my demands. You're a pretty princess. <laughs> it's too bad we have to lock you up in the dungeon. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, Fangs. Huh? <laughs> you can't do this to me. Funny, I thought I just did it. Bye now. Where are we going? To the lab. Skeletor wants us to run some tests on this sword the princess was carrying. What for? Hordak seems to think there was something special about it. That was lucky. Now to even the odds a little bit. 
for the honor of Greystone. to King Randor. Skeletor to King Randor. Come in, you royal boob. It's not nice to call people names. Who are you, woman? The name's she -Ra. And you can stop trying to call the king. I've freed the princess. What? Get her! My, you boys are forward. Oh, all right. One dance, and that's it. Now you fellows are using your heads. You nincompoops, be brains. I'll take care of her myself. <laughs> ha, miss. Wait for it, bone brain. <laughs> That's definitely an improvement to your look. Look, she's the one who stole the sword. I'll stop her. The throne room is just ahead of us. Let's be careful. Hey, man, look out! Ah! What happened to them? I've got a pretty good idea. Hello, He Man. Sorry you missed all the fun. Who in the world is that? T Love, man at arms. This is my friend, Shira. Nice to meet you. Where's Princess Adora? Um, uh, she's, uh. Oh, she's safe. Right, right. Safe. A female, he man. Oh, oh, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Etheria? You can't be serious, Adora. Please try to understand. I love you all, but Etheria is my world. I can't just leave it in the hands of the Horde. Oh, Mother, I know how hard this is for you and Father. But now that I know of you, I can come back when my world is free. And how long will that take? How many more years will we be without our daughter? I don't know, Father. But if it was Eternia under the boot of the Horde, could you leave the fight before it was over? I wish you could stay. But I understand. And I'm very, very proud of you. Oh, Father. I'm gonna miss you, Adam. Oh, and I'm gonna miss you a lot. <laughs> Isn't anybody going to miss me? Remember, Adora, whenever you wish to return, just hold up the sword and call my name. I will. Come on, spirit. Well, goodbye. <laughs> I guess we better head for Whispering Woods, Spirit. Can uh, anyone give a prince a lift? Adam! How? What? Well, I thought I might give you a hand in getting the rebellion off to a big start. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Mind? I... What is it, Spirit? Oh! I've never seen so many flyers. Something must be happening, something big. We better get to Whispering Woods fast. I get you. By the power of Grey Skull. For the honor of Grey Skull.
Let's move, cat. So, you lead the attack on the west wall. I'll take the east wall. And what about us? Hey, Dan. Shira. Oh, thank goodness you're here. We're going to attack Castle Bright Moon and drive out the horde. Sounds good. Now we're really ready for the horde. <laughs> If this is a horde trick... No, wait. What is it? Shira, be careful. Easy, big fella. It's all right. They don't want to harm us. They want to help in the battle against the horde. Sure. I guess we can use all the help we can get. But how did you know that? I'm not sure. It's as if I could feel what they felt. Hmm. I wish we'd ask the sorceress a little more about your powers. <laughs> Might I suggest we start our march on Castle Bright Moon before anything else happens? <laughs> Good thinking, Cal. Rebels, are you ready to drive the horde out of Bright Moon? Yeah! yeah. Then yeah. let's go! Today we win! Hear me! As queen of this kingdom, I demand you surrender Castle Brightmoon to me! You always were a fool, Angela. Launch Batmex! What are they? Batmex. Robot plane. They have no pilots. Up, swift wind! Destructo tank, forward! Here's something for us to play with, Cat. Operative. 
Rebel forces have entered the castle. No, it's not true. The horse cannot be beaten like this. That's where you're mistaken, Jarhead. You! It's all over, Hordak. Bright Moon is free. And soon we'll free the other kingdoms as well. One battle does not win a war, Shira. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> They'll be back. And I'll be waiting. It is a great day for Etheria, my daughter. Listen to them cheer. It's good to hear them so happy. How about you? Aren't you happy? Yes. And no. You are not returning to Eternia with me, are you? I can't. Hordak was right. One battle doesn't win a war. And it's a war Etheria is fighting. I'm needed here, He-Man. At least for now. Tell Mother and Father I love them. I will. Ready to go home, Battle Cat? <sighs> sure, He-Man! Say goodbye to all my friends here, will you? And if you should ever need my help... I'll call. And if you ever... I'll know just who to ask for. Up, swift wind! <laughs> Farewell, She-Ra! Princess of power! Farewell, He-Man! Dear brother! How or where, but believe me, I'll walk the universe to find her. For better or for worse, beside her. For the honor of love, by the power of A deal. The mouse for Kevin. Deal. Sucker. <laughs> Let's go, Kevin. Daria, I can still come over and watch the pigskin channel, right? Sure. It's the tenth time I've peed since I've been here. It's also like the tenth time you told us. <laughs> It must be really hard to hear. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier having three babies playing bring it into noise, bring it into funk on your bladder. Babes, you, you want a cookie? Thank you so much. So, uh, Babes, honey, how are those mood swings coming? I haven't really had any yet. No one told you life was gonna be this 
Shower. Wow, that so doesn't sound like something I want to do later. I can't believe I'm gonna have a party. <laughs> a party? Oh, <laughs> Centers, signs, posters, and banners, and custom business solutions. So rest easy. Kinko's. We're doing more. every Kinko's, featuring one of the latest pickup times around, and serviced by people as committed to their work as we are. Kinko's, we're doing more. We still don't get how you know when it's false labor. Well, do you see any babies? <laughs> You're gonna be the one that they come to when they want to run away from home, and the one they talk to about sex. You just get to be cool Aunt Phoebe. <laughs> Cool Aunt Phoebe. <laughs> I am pretty cool. Oh. oh. Yeah, and you know what else? Oh, my God, are they gonna love you? They are gonna love me. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Oh, honey. Again. Oh, oh sweetie. Oh. oh. Thanks. No. Oh, what? what? Oh, God. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> should happen to him. Joey, the vet said it's a simple procedure. So? Things could go wrong. You don't know. Well, what if he doesn't make it? He will, Joe. Yeah, but what if he doesn't? He's such a good duck. <laughs> It's a great picture, but how are you going to get photo quality prints? Well, you go to Kinko's and use the Kodak Picture Maker to crop, reduce red eye, and get those prints in minutes. It'll really bring out the green in those strange peas. And America Online members can download and print from their You've Got Pictures Online photo account. That's, That's us. us! Kinko's. We're doing more. Stop by Kinko's and pick up your free America Online software. That's a Suzuki! I hope she got my good side.
oven mitt. 39 cents. How much for the bowl? 39 cents. How about the baby grand? For you, 39 cents. Right now, 39 cents is all you need to get your Taco Bell favorites. Crunchy tacos for just 39 cents every Sunday. And great tasting bean burritos for the low price of only 39 cents every Wednesday. Don't miss out. Tacos in the bank, baby. Do you dream and... I think we'll camp here tonight. Cut it out. <laughs> Two sixes. Ah, uh -huh, two aces. I win. Two more games. I have all your money. Ha, ha, ha. It's poker, Shorty. Anything can happen. Where did you find your uh, little bodyguard? I didn't find him. I caught him. What? Shorty's family were killed when the Japanese bombed Shanghai. He's been living on the streets since he was four. <laughs> I caught him trying to pick my pocket. Didn't I, short stuff? <laughs> The biggest trouble with her is the noise. Hey, you cheat, Dr. Jones. You cheat. What do you mean? You full car. Oh, you say now. No mistake. No mistake. Mistake. I'm very little. You cheat very big. Mistake. I'm very little. You cheat very big. Oh. Start to go. 
don't. You too. You pay money. You owe me ten cents. Look at this. Look at this. You accuse me of cheating? You're cheating. You make me poor. No fun. Play with you. No fun. Oh, fine. I quit. Oh, fine. I quit. Oh, the place is completely surrounded. The entire place is crawling with living things. That's why they call it the jungle, sweetheart. Oh, my God. What else is happening? Willy Willy. Willy Willy. What is that? Is that short for something? Willie is my professional name. Indiana. Hey, lady, you call him Dr. Jones. My professional name. Why are you dragging us off to this deserted palace? Fortune and glory? Fortune and glory. Well, this is a piece of an old manuscript. This pictograph represents Sankara. Please. Gentle, gentle. This is hundreds of years old. Is that some kind of writing? Yeah, it's Sanskrit. Cut it out. It's part of the legend of Sankara. He climbs Mount Kalisa where he meets Shiva, the Hindu god. That's Shiva? And what's he handing the priest? Rocks. He told him to go forth and combat evil. And to help him, he gave him five sacred stones with magical properties. Magic rocks? My grandpa was a magician. He spent his entire life with a rabbit in his pocket and pigeons up his sleeves. He made a lot of children happy and died a very poor man. Magic rock, fortune and glory. Sweet dream, Dr. Jones. Where are you going? I'd sleep closer if I were you. For safety's sake. Dr. Jones, I'd be safer sleeping with a snake. <laughs> I said, cut it out! I hate that elephant. Bless you. to know about places he'd never been to. He was all right.
asshole! Beat it! Broke my bag, the bastard. Oh. It's a beautiful little car for Don Juan. So sad when that happened. What can I say, Ron? The guy's a loser. I'll see you. Loser. Yeah. Oh, sir. I saw it. Some angry member of the kitchen staff. Did you not tip them? Oh, the terrorists, they ran that way. It was a run by fruiting. I'll get them, sir. Don't worry. <clears throat> Good waste of juice. Loser. What are you looking at? That's a pretty impressive bobble you got her. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, thank you. If he gives a gift like that, he wants more than a piece of her heart, eh? Hmm? Bit of a going down payment, huh? Excuse me? Oh, no, dear. Sink the sub. Hide the weasel, park the porpoise. Bit of the old Humpty Dumpty, little Jack Horney, the horizontal mumbo. Hmm? Where's the start fire? The bone dancer, eh? Rumple Foreskin, baloney bop, bit of the old cunning linguistics. Hmm? Where's the start fire, please? Oh, dear, no, I'm sorry, my being a little graphic, sorry. I hope you're up for a little competition. I beg your pardon? She's got a power tool in the bedroom, dear. <coughs> it's her personal jackhammer. She could break sidewalk with that gun. <coughs> she uses it in the light stem, it's like a prison movie. Maybe she hasn't chipped her teeth. Oh. I hope you bring cocktail sauce. She's got the crabs, dear, and I don't mean Dungeness. I'm being blunt as a spoon, aren't I? Forgive me. Oh. Mm. It's the wine. Oh, gosh. Oh. Be back in a flush, all right?